Hey folks, Bud Talbot W0RMT here with the third video in the series on DV Switch Mobile. Today we're going to look at installing and configuring the DV Switch Mobile client app on your Android device. So in this video, we're going to install the app from the Play Store, go through basic setup, get you connected to your DV Switch Mobile server that you've got set up on your Raspberry Pi, and get you to operate. So let's head over to the app now and work on configuring it. Okay, now that you've got the DV Switch mobile client app installed on your Android device, let's uh, talk about how to get it set up. When you first open it up, you'll notice that this field here is green because you're not registered, you're not connected to your server. What you need to do is go to the Accounts tab and set up one of these USRP accounts to connect to your local instance of the DV Switch mobile server on your Raspberry Pi. What you need to do here in the Hostname field is enter the IP address of your server, um, that you found from the previous video when you set it up. Also enter the port number that you set up before um, in the DVS setup menu, and it's the same port number for port and transmit port. Be sure to enter your call sign, your DMR ID, and you can leave the transmit and receive audio levels the same, and just make sure codec type is server selected. Now, one thing to note here, you could set this host name up with your external IP address. That means your, your public facing IP address of your machine, uh, as long as you had this port forwarded to your DV switch mobile server on your local network. In other words, that port needs to be open so that outside connections that are coming in uh, to your network from your public IP address can access it via that port. So, the way we're looking at it right now, it's for access on the local network, but if you put your public IP address in there and you had that port forwarded to your DV Switch mobile client, you could also access it from outside of your home network. Okay, so once you've got this uh, set up, okay, back on the home screen now, you can see that you're connected to your DV Switch mobile server because this field is blue now and not green once we set up that account and we connected to it. And I'm connected to Colorado HD now, DMR Brandmeister Talk Group 31088. Let's go check out the config tab and see some of the settings in there. There are a number of macro fields that you can define up here. For example, I've got uh, quick dial strings already entered for connecting to Colorado HD D star. So if I call that macro, it'll just dial XRF 303 Delta Lima to link to the Delta module of that XRF uh, machine and uh, some other macros as well. We'll talk about macros more in the next video. Importantly, down below, you can select the audio source. I have mine set to auto, but if you're using Bluetooth or if you want to use speaker by default, you can select that here. Uh, I have lock screen orientation enabled. Uh, that keeps the app from changing orientation if I move the phone into the horizontal format. A few more settings um, as well, on-screen push-to-talk and toggle push-to-talk mode I have set, as well as the timeout timer. Um, so you can explore some of those settings and refer to the uh, DV Switch Mobile documentation for some more details on these. When you first open the app, there'll be a place at the bottom here to prompt you to purchase the app. It's a nominal fee. If you use it a lot, uh, you should probably do that. And uh, after you register it, you'll have this tip jar button so you can throw a quick 99 cents the way of developers every time you use it. If we go back to the home screen here, you'll see that uh, I am connected to a talk group and keying up and talking is as easy as pushing the PTT. W0RMT, Colorado HT. And pushing again to unkey. So there you have it. You're basically set up and running. So. Let's take a look at the next few videos in the series and what we'll learn after this one. Okay, now that you've got your app up and running and connected to your DV Switch mobile server, the next videos in the series are going to help you do some other things. In the next video, we'll look at advanced configurations of the server and the app. Video 5, we'll look at the Puck clients. And in 6, we'll work on configuring those Puck clients. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you in the next video.